If any of my previous tutorials are to go off of, you'll likely already know that I am terrible when it comes to doing any sort of artistic elements for a gamer application. Whether it be 3D models, animation, sound, or even level design, I am terrible at it. But over the past couple weeks, I've been working on a game of my own called Nature. And through developing this game, I've learned a couple of things. One, I've learned how to improve some of the skills that I'm already pretty terrible at. But in addition to that, I've learned that there's more than one way to get assets for your own game. So in this video, I want to show you three ways that you can obtain many different types of assets for your game. But before we jump to that, if you enjoy this video and want to see more just like this one, be sure to like the subscribe button down below. And with that, let's jump right into it. Let's start with what is perhaps the most obvious way of getting assets for your game, and that is to make them yourself. And this can kind of go one of two ways, depending on how much time you want to put into developing these assets, but also how skilled you are at actually developing them in the first place. For example, if you are great at building these massive elaborate structures and you're great at developing your own characters and whatever else you may need for your game, then this may be perfect for you and maybe won't take very much time at all. However, if you're someone like me who's a little bit more artistically challenged, then you may find that this isn't the best option and can only be more time consuming than if you were to, say, have someone else build them for you. However, I think that one of the more important things to point out too is that when you're developing a game, it's your game. Nobody's telling you to do one art style. And the reason I bring this up is because not all art styles are very realistic. For example, some are a lot more low poly or just simply revolve around basic geometric shape. The second option can be a lot more time saving, however it can be a little bit more work depending on your art style and what you're looking for in your game. And that is to buy them off of an asset store. Whether you're using Unity or Unreal Engine or maybe you're looking at other third party asset stores, there are a lot of great resources for buying and simply obtaining assets that you want to use in your game. For example, Unreal Engine has the Unreal Marketplace and that was actually one of my big places to go when I needed new assets for my game. By going into the asset store, I could immediately get the assets that I needed assuming that the Unreal Marketplace had them. However, this can also be a huge downside as well. Just because a game has the asset you're looking for doesn't mean it's going to be in the art style that you want. So for this reason, it can also be a huge challenge to find the assets that you're looking for. If you're trying to look for something that's ultra, ultra realistic, for example, you may not find extremely realistic models for everything that you need. You may only find it for a few elements here and there, and the rest you may need to find another solution for. However, you have to keep in mind, over time this can be very costly as well. Not all assets are cheap, especially if you're looking to, do, to obtain extremely realistic assets, these may be worth significantly more than if you're looking for lower quality assets for your game. So this can really go either way as well, but I think this plays really well if you're going to design some of the assets yourself and obtain the rest through something like the asset store on Unity or the Unreal Marketplace. Finally, a third option is to actually just pay someone else to design the assets for you. And yes, this can get very costly, and yes, this will still take time to do, but doing so will mean that you'll be able to get all the assets you need exactly the way that you want to, and they're all going to be in more or less the same art style that you're trying to achieve. Going back to the option in the asset store, one of the big challenges is trying to get all the assets that you need in the exact right art style that you want. Chances are it's not going to happen. But if you're willing to pay someone who might even have better skills than you if you're artistically challenged as well, then this can be a great option. Also going back to trying to design the assets yourself, whether you're good at designing the assets or not, having someone else design the assets for you can be much more time consuming. 
since while they're working on the assets, you can work on everything else that you need in order for your game to be ready to go. So all you need to do is sometimes drop those assets in and everything is all done and good to go. And that's three different options for getting assets for your game. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you, do you know of any other great options for getting assets for your game other than these three? Let us know down below if you have any other great options. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.